Hello dear students how are you I hope you all are safe and healthy at home and also I know that you are excitingly waiting for this video Before I start I want to tell you that today we are going to take up a very beautiful story about an unquestionable faith and trust In order to know this I want to ask a question My question for you is whenever you are in problem I want to know who is the first person you would approach to or whenever you need any help who is the first person that comes to your mind tell me I know some of you might be saying parents maybe mother father some of you might be saying brother sisters some of you might be saying friends some of you might be saying grandparents however i feel we can seek help of a person in whom we have lot of trust and belief as we know that only that person can solve our problem in today's story the question of trust is similarly like this the story we are going to take up today is taken from your book first flight and the title of the story is a letter to god in the story there is a farmer called lencho lencho has unquestionable belief and trust in god and when he has faced a great problem in life he is going to write a letter to god yes this is strange he writes a letter to god and let's see how he gets the response and is he really free from his problem to know more about it we need to know the story so let's get started a letter to god written by g l funtis let's get started lencho's house was the only one in the entire valley it sat on the crest of a low hill from where one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with flowers that always promised a good harvest the only thing the earth needed was a downpour throughout the morning lencho had seen the sky towards northeast we are going to get some water yes god willing lencho's wife called everyone for supper come for dinner come come it was during the meal that just as lencho had predicted by drop of rain began to fall in the north east huge mountains of clouds could be seen approaching the air was fresh and sweet lencho went out to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body he exclaimed hey these rain drops are falling from the sky they are new coins the big drops are fives but suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain very large hailstorm began to fall oh it's really getting bad now exclaimed the man i hope it passes quickly it did not pass quickly for an hour the hail rained on the house the garden the hillside the corn field on the whole valley the field was white as if covered with salt lencho's soul was filled with sadness huh a plague of locust would have left more than this the hail has left nothing this year we will have no corn that night was a sorrowful one all of our work for nothing there is no one who can help us will all go hungry this year but in the hearts of all who lived in that solitary house in the middle of the valley 
there was a single hope help from god don't be so upset even though this seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger that's what they say no one dies of hunger all through the night lencho thought only one of his hope the help of god whose eyes as he had been instructed see everything even what is deep in one's conscience lencho was an ox of a man working like an animal in his field but still he knew how to write the following sunday at the daybreak he began to write a letter it was nothing less than a letter to god he wrote god if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year i need a hundred pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crop comes because the hailstorm he wrote to god on the envelope and went to the town at the post office he placed the stamp on the letter and dropped it into the main box one of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing heartily and showed him the letter to god never in his career as a postman had he known that address the postmaster a fat amiable fellow also broke out laughing but almost immediately he turned serious and commented what faith i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter starting up a correspondence with god so in order not to shake the writer's faith in god the postmaster came up with an idea let's answer the letter but when he opened it it was evident that to answer it he needed something more than goodwill ink and paper but he stuck to his resolution he asked for money from his employees he himself gave part of his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity he was able to gather only a little more than half the amount demanded by lencho he put the money in an envelope with a letter containing only a single word as a signature god the following sunday lencho came a bit earlier than usual is there any letter for lencho yes here it is the postmaster was experiencing the moment from the doorway of his office lencho showed no surprise on seeing the money what a confidence but when lencho counted the money he became angry god cannot do mistake nor he can deny what i required immediately lencho went up to the window to ask for paper and ink on public writing letter table he wrote another letter with much wrinkling of his brow the moment the letter fell into the box the postmaster went to open it god of the money that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i needed very much but don't send it to me through mail because 
the post office employees are a bunch of crooks so students did you notice who helped lencho what do you think was it god who helped him or were it the post office employees tell me i think it were not just the post office employees but it was his faith in god which attracted the attention of the post office employees towards his letter this is the reason why people say that faith can move mountains in order to understand the story let's sum up the story a farmer named lencho was expecting for good shaw for his corn fields he was confident that his harvest was going to yield huge profits to his utmost excitement rainfall did happen but very soon it turned into a hailstorm destroying his entire corn field this hailstorm came like a big threat for the survival of his family as their entire livelihood was dependent on the year's produce lencho was upset and disheartened however he didn't lose hope in god and had unwavering faith in him lencho decided to write a letter to god asking for 100 pesos for raising another crop and to sustain for next one year he went to the post office and posted his letter addressed to god the postmaster was surprised after reading the letter and was impressed by lencho's immense belief in god the postmaster along with his colleagues and friends contributed an amount of 70 pesos from his salary to help lencho the amount was put in an envelope with signature of god and was sent to lencho on receiving the letter lencho was not surprised at all but instead he got angry on finding that the amount was less than what he demanded he once again wrote a letter to god conveying his distrust in the post office staff and called them a bunch of crooks for stealing the balance amount of 30 pesos i hope the story is clear to all of us now based on our understanding let's try to answer some of the mcqs based on this story here we go what was the only thing the earth needed according to lencho options are a a shower b snowfall c strong winds and d sunlight yes students try what was the only thing that earth needed according to lencho try the answer yes the correct option is option a a shower next what did lencho compare the large rain drops to options are a silver coins b pearls c diamonds and d new coins we have read this in the chapter as well so try to guess the right answer he compared the rain drops to yes it's option d new coins next lencho compared the damage done to the crops to options are a an attack by rats b an attack by wild pigs c 
an attack by buffaloes or d an attack by locusts yes try to answer he compared the damage done to the crops too very good it's d an attack by locusts locusts are the small insects that damage the crops next how did lencho decide to contact his last resort his last resort means his last help means god so how did he decide options are a by visiting him personally b by writing a letter c by writing an email or d by making a call yes try and find out the correct answer choose the correct option we all have read so the correct option is b by writing a letter next on seeing the letter the postman was moved by lencho's options are a unwavering faith in god b unreasonable demand c love for god or d none of the above yes tell me what is the correct option the postman was moved by lencho's very good try it's a unwavering faith in god so friends let's move to another exercise read the following lines and state the reason why these lines have been said here are few lines you have to tell the valid reason why these lines have been said means what happened the first one is that night was a sorrowful night all our work for nothing so i leave this to you you have to think and write the valid reason or what was the situation why this line was spoken next the postmaster a fat amiable fellow also broke out laughing state the reason why did the postmaster laugh tell we have read in the story and write it down next but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crook said lencho yes tell me the reason why it has been said so we all have already read this in the story i hope you all can do this exercise now let's move to another interesting activity read the following sentences and carefully look at the words in bold the first one is i love to play tennis second sentence i went to watch the famous play written by rabindranath tagore students let me share that in the first sentence the word play is a verb which means to engage in an activity for enjoyment here the word play has been used as a verb in the second sentence play here means a theater act it means play in the second sentence has been used as a noun to make it more clear let's have a look at another example the word is contest the sentence is 
he decided to contest in the local elections. Second, she is going to participate in a beauty contest. So, the same word contest has been used as a verb in the first one when we say he decided to contest an election and the same word has been used as a noun when we say she is going to participate in a beauty contest. Based on the above examples, use the given words both as a verb and as a noun in a sentence. The words are protest, insult, rebel, invite and refund. I hope you all will try and use them as verb and noun. with their description below and fill in the blanks. You may use a dictionary to help you. First, let me tell you the words given here. The words are gale, whirlwind, cyclone, hurricane, tornado and typhoon. The first Philip is a violent tropical storm in which strong winds move in a circle. Yes, I repeat, a violent tropical storm in which strong winds move in a circle. Try. What do we call this? Yes, we call it a cyclone. Next. An extremely strong wind. Yes, try. What do we call it? An extremely strong wind is known as gale. Next, a violent tropical storm with very strong winds. Yes, be careful. I'm repeating it. A violent tropical storm with very strong winds. We call it typhoon. Very good. Next, a violent storm whose center is a cloud in the shape of a funnel. This we all know. Try and make a guess. Yes, it is a tornado. Very good. Next, a violent storm with very strong winds, especially in the Western Atlantic Ocean. What it can be? Try. Any guess? Yes, it is hurricane. Very good. Next, a very strong wind that moves very fast in a spinning movement and causes a lot of damage and we have heard news about it many a times try what is this it is a whirlwind now let's begin with another interesting activity select the words that describe lencho from the given circle in the story, we have read about Lencho and also we came across his different traits. So, here are few words. You have to select the words that describe the Lencho. The words are given in a circle. So, here we go. The words are greedy, naive, stupid, Ungrateful, comical, selfish, sacrificing, 
unquestioning and helpful let's check out the first word that's greedy do you think he was really greedy in my opinion i don't think so he was greedy he never showed any greed in the chapter and he was not unreasonable in his demand so i don't think greed is the right word rest i leave it to you you can decide the correct words that describe lencho and you can write them as per your understanding go through it and write it down think carefully about his character about the incidents of the story then you can make them out easily okay now it's time to reflect reflect on a thought and write about it imagine yourself to be in place of the postmaster write a diary entry expressing your views on how you would have reacted to lencho's letter to god i hope it is an interesting activity so you have to write a diary entry as a postmaster also you can use the following clues for example the clues are surprising unshaken faith unbelievable and so use them and write a diary entry so dear friends i hope you have enjoyed today's video and also you have learned an important moral from the story that is one should have unshakable belief and trust because when your trust is unshakable it can shake mountains on this positive note i wish you all the best stay healthy and enjoy learning thank you